Going through my comments, I've seen quite a few comments that believe Eugenia Cooney is actually lying about going and getting help. And this is actually a really important topic that we need to talk about. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And do not forget, this Saturday, yes, this Saturday, I am doing a charity live stream at 10 a.m. where we are raising money for the organization that that Taylor is donating to to help give women, you know, uh, beauty supplies and hygiene products and all of that who are less fortunate. So I will be on stream doing myself up to look all pretty and all donations will be going over to that Taylor and her, uh, the organization that she's supporting. But anyways, yeah, let's talk about this thing going on where people think Eugenia Cooney is lying about getting help. So I do want to start out this video with something that I often say, you know, this video is not for Eugenia Cooney. Like at the end of the day, at the end of the day, and don't get it twisted, I am of no delusion, like this is none of our business. None of my business what she is doing, right? Like, yes, we can wanna help, yes, we could do that, but at the end of the day, she's gonna be doing her thing. But I wanted to discuss this because this is actually something that I've struggled with in the past, and I know it's something that many of you have probably struggled with, or you have a loved one who is struggling with this, and this is two different topics. One of them uh, is lying about getting help, and the other one is just getting help to get people off your back. So those of you who aren't caught up to speed, you know, to give you some context, Eugenia Cooney, you know, allegedly is struggling with an eating disorder, even though she hasn't come out and said it. But anyways, uh, about a week ago on Twitter, she said, hey, I'm gonna go see a doctor and all this. And uh, myself, as well as Crimson Studios, we did a collab discussing this. Um, Ryan from Crimson Studios, he's in recovery from an eating disorder. I highly recommend you go check out his videos. If you are somebody struggling with an eating disorder or you're in recovery, like go check out his videos. They are amazing. I love that dude, he's doing awesome. But anyways, like I mentioned, in the comment section, there are people who think that she might be lying about this. So like, yeah, this is something that, that does happen with people and you might have done this or you know, you might know somebody who's done this. So I'll try to talk about both aspects of it. But for me personally, as many of you know, I am a drug addict and alcoholic in recovery. I've been clean for about six and a half years and there were times when I was <laughs> lying about getting help. So like, for example, when I was uh, put into a sober living home when I first got clean, like, we, it was mandatory that we went to five 12 step meetings a week. And I was like, this is stupid. This is dumb. I don't want to go up in these meetings, have people talk about their problems and whine and complain, or like try to tell me all these things. Like, you know, and it was part of my illness. And it was part of a lot of mental illnesses where that, that illness talks to you and says, you don't need help. And it wants to separate you from people. So what I was doing was I wasn't going to meetings and I would forge signatures, right? But here's the thing. At the end of the day, like, at the end of the day, the only person I was hurting was myself. And like, the reason why I was just like, ugh, was because, man, this is something I try to teach people. Like, some of us have like that defiance in us, like where we wanna be like, I'm gonna do my own thing no matter what. And here's the thing, at the end of the day, the only person we are hurting is ourselves. So in the context of Eugenia Cooney, let's say, let's say hypothetically, she was lying about this. Like, that doesn't affect us. Right? It would be on her. And this is something that I came to realize. So for example, I had a sponsor who I was, uh, you know, I had to call every single day. And then I didn't call him and all that stuff. And then eventually like I, I ended up calling him and I felt terrible and all these other things. And he was fine. And that's when I realized, I'm like, oh, this is only hurting me. It's not hurting him. So trust me, trust me. Like I like I talk about on the podcast that Matt and I do, unsolicited advice. I'm like I don't lose any sleep over this stuff. Like you guys, I am just here to provide you with tools and resources, tell you to go get therapy, go see a doctor, join um, support groups, whatever it is, right? But like, if you don't do those things, if you don't take the help that I'm offering you or the help that other people are offering you, that is on you, all right? Something that I had to come to terms with was if I wasn't getting help, I am choosing to stay in misery. 
like so many people, so many people struggling with different disorders, like our stubbornness and our ego is our biggest freaking enemy and i know you could probably relate like think about your own stubbornness right now think about how your ego gets involved and tells you you don't need help you don't need to listen to anybody you don't need to listen to this dumb idiot on youtube telling you to go get help right like think about that and ask yourself is this helping you or is it hurting you right because when i sat back and i analyzed what was going on with me i realized that it was just hurting me all right, so while it is a, a, a scenario that nobody can confirm, like her friend Dirty Dan, I think it is, I just checked out his video, he says that she is getting help and all of that. But here's something that I didn't talk about in my other video about should we still be worried about Eugenia Cooney. And that is just getting help to get people off your back. And this is something that I did, and again, it was only hurting me. Like the first time I got sober, the first time I got sober, basically I called up my kid's mom because she had left and was staying at my mom's house because she was sick and tired of me and threatening to move back to Las Vegas with my son, we were living in California at the time. Finally, I called her up and I said, listen, if it will shut you up, I will go get help, right? So all the only reason I was getting help was to get her off my back. And guess what happened three months later? I relapsed, all right? Because I was I was doing it with the wrong intentions and sometimes we do that. And like and even this last time that I got sober six and a half years ago, I was just doing it to shut people up. I was like, fine, I'll do it. Like I had no intention on staying sober. No intention at all. So I was gonna get the heat off me and then whenever I felt like it, whenever I felt like the coast was clear, I was gonna go back to slowly killing myself. Again, it was only hurting me. And this is why I, I preach, you know, personal accountability and all of that. You know what I mean? So a couple things, like what's the solution to all this? What is the solution? So one of, a, one of them is for all of us, like we need to get better because we want to. This is one of the trickiest parts about mental illness is that we cannot stay better unless we want to. Okay, and like this, this doesn't matter if it's addiction, if it's an eating disorder, if it's depression, if it's an anxiety like disorder, like what do you want to do? Do you want to get better? Are you sick and tired of living the way that you're living? Like, do you want things to get better? Do you believe that things can get better? If you don't believe things can get better, watch my other video about the ego and the plus minus equals technique, right? Like find other people who have gotten better, right? And just like, look to them and use their hope for a little while. Like that's what I had to do. Now, don't get me wrong, as somebody who has struggled with depression for many years, there were many days when I didn't wanna get better for me. And on those days, cause we do this thing one day at a time, we work on our addiction, our eating disorder, our depression, our anxiety, our PTSD or whatever, we work on it one day at a time. And on, one, on certain days when I didn't wanna get better for me because I hated myself, I, I looked at a picture of my son, or I looked at my friends, I looked at my family. I was like, you know what, today I'm gonna stay better for you. Sometimes, even doing this YouTube channel, I'm staying well for all of you guys. I have to work on my mental health because I know some of you need to hear a message of hope, all right? But the other solution to this is, especially if you, you have a loved one who you feel is not getting well for the right reasons or whatever it is, do not lose hope. Do not lose hope. Like I said, like when I share my story, I did not want to get better. I did not want to. I was ready to die, okay? And by just keep, like I kept going and kept going and kept going and then something clicked. And then something, something clicked. So even in Eugenia Cooney's case, let's say, again, a hypothetical, because I don't freaking know Eugenia, but a hypothetical. Let's say she was just doing this to get people to shut up and get off her back for a while. Maybe, maybe she's going to hear something that just clicks and she's gonna wanna stay well, right? So if you have a loved one who's getting help or they're in treatment right now or seeing a therapist or whatever it is, just like, do your best to have a little bit of faith because I've seen it so many times and I'm living proof. I'm living proof about some of somebody who didn't want to get better, but then something happened and I decided that I wanted to stay better. And now I live this amazing life today. So if you don't have faith in yourself, 
or you don't believe in yourself or you don't have hope in yourself, just know that I do. I know, I know through years of working with people who have had far worse experiences than me, right? I know for a fact that there is no such thing as a hopeless case, all right? But anyways, anyways, let me know down in the comments below if you're somebody in recovery from anxiety, depression, eating disorder, addiction, whatever it is, like, was there ever a point where you decided to just like go see a therapist just to shut everybody up or go get help just to shut everybody up? And then what happened to motivate you to continue working on yourself? Or, or that could be another question. What, what inspires you? What motivates you to get better and keep working on yourself? Are you doing it for yourself? Are you doing it for others? And by the way, I'm not saying doing it for others is wrong. It's just sometimes that's not sustainable that's all i'm saying all right anyways let's have a conversation down in the comments below anyways if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell and make sure you're here saturday at 10 a.m as i do my makeup and we raise some money for a good cause all right and i want to send a huge huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you are all amazing and i've done some new posts over on patreon so if you're a patron go check that out if you want to become a patron you can click or tap right there all right thank you so so much for watching I'll see you next time.